Hey, how's it going? Long time no see. Um, sorry about that. I've been doing all sorts of bits and pieces, but uh, I'm back working on the ST now. Um, I've had a few problems uh, with the steering. I put the pump on because the old one was broken. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but uh, yeah, he was splitting the crash and the impact. I can show you actually, it's right here. So, you can see just here, look where it's split around there. So, the whole thing leaked. So, I, I put a second hand pump on it, which is in and installed, and uh, been scratching my head because it hasn't worked for ages and ages. Um, so uh, I tested all the fuses, couldn't find the right fuse for it to be honest and it turns out it was a breaker fuse that was gone in the end which I only found yesterday. As soon as I replace that it now works. I'll show you the fuse it was just in case you have this trouble as well. Um, it is that one there, 80 amp breaker. So yeah, um, replace that, now it all works so now I'm just slowly putting it all back together. Uh, it's looking pretty dirty at the moment. I don't want to wipe it down because I don't want to scratch the vinyl. Um, there's some bits I want to redo, like here. Because that's all peeled back and that's not looking good. So I've got to replace that whole bottom piece there uh, at some point. But at the moment, today, all I'm going to do is put on this lower wing section. Um, sorry, skirt. And get that back together. I just noticed there it's not looking too good either so i'll see if i can uh, sort that out somehow uh I'll probably try and heat it up and see if i can push it into the gap there maybe um other than that it's nearly there i've got to get a tire for this one um just because it's that's the broken one which was bent back and trashed this wing um the inner wing which is up there I'll put that in once I'm happy with everything else under here, which I think I am now. So I'm just going to do a load of underseal in there and then uh, put it back up. As well as I'm going to underseal in around there and all the way down there because there was a bit of rust under there. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the task today. So I'll show you this uh, once the uh, skirt is put back on, which is actually. He's ready to go. I've done that ages ago. You can see all the dust that's on it. It's been there a while. So yeah, put that back on and uh, that's pretty much the car all back together then, I suppose. Um, what more can you say? So uh, I've got to sort the wheel alignment out. Um, I'm just going to do it roughly for now. Uh, <coughs> uh, put my new number plates on. Got some nice um, embossed metal ones. Should look pretty cool, and uh, got to do an oil and filter change on it as well. But I'm gonna make sure it's running right before I do so. Give it a bit of a run around, just make sure everything's working nicely. But he is uh, 98 ish percent done, I suppose. Right. Uh, then I've got to next job off that will be refurb the alloys. Uh, I'm going to keep the same ones. I'll just strip the tyres off um, rub them back and do them sort of a graphite grey or something like that maybe. I might try a vinyl wrap over the top and just see how that looks with the silver in behind but I don't know about that yet. We'll see how I feel. Uh, um, yeah, so uh, that's where we're at my booties. Uh, I'll capture you in a bit. So. <laughs> That's what I'm sealing it with. Sealing it with the old Tetra seal. Uh, it's really good stuff. It's real like gloopy. Um, I'd recommend using it on any vehicle really. Uh, I've noticed in behind these wings, why do I keep calling them wings? Side skirts. Um, you get mud and that in behind there. So, uh, and then you get moisture in there as well and that combined will rot out your seals eventually so it is worth it if you have skirts on any vehicle um, to take them off clean out all the crap and uh, uh, put some rust treatment on 
right really for rust on this one there's not really any there too much there's a bit under here i don't know if you can see that on the camera at the moment um the rest is all right i'm going to give it a bit of a clean down first and then uh then we'll put the tetra seal on um, and that will prolong its life Ew. For the British now. Oh, there we go. Uh, little clean up here. That's a rusty spot, just like right there. Uh, any loose paint off. It always seems to be the trouble with forwards. Using this trim remover tool all the time. I always find that after I don't need it. Uh, yeah. With this. Uh, I don't think you need to see me do all of this stuff. So, time to go in hyperlapse. Roll the music! Um, Yeah, on every road. 
But someday, baby, you ain't worry my life anymore. Um, as far as this uh, vlog's concerned, I'd say this one is done. Um, probably get it insured in the week. Uh, get tires, uh, get the wheel alignment done, the number plates on, and drive it. I'll show you what it looks like. It's been raining out, but uh, I look too bad. There's, uh, there's some bits I need to redo. Uh, I've got to glue the trims on, so there's still a bit of orange on the show at the moment, but that will disappear once the, uh, the trim is glued back. Uh, we've got to do some inlays on the inside of the doors as well, but uh, that's that's nothing. Anyway, I'll show you what it's like. There's a spider web where you used to live by the front door and I wonder if an itsy bitsy part of me got lost in it. And between the broken wings, all the I love yous and the empty things, somewhere in those silky strings, an itsy bitsy piece of me got lost. I wish I wasn't on my way. I wish I didn't So there we go um, please like comment subscribe uh, I hope you like this uh, there's more to come um, probably not as interesting I've got a fiesta which I've just got to have a quick look at um, I've got this one next to do I've got a new wiring loom to put on that because the other one's rotten so uh, that's already half stripped um, so yeah so we'll carry on with that anyway my beauties peace out I'll see you later. Obama. Obama.